family so I started thinking about something and whenever I start thinking about something I always want everyone's perspective so a lot of people like are more afraid of terrorism than they are gangs and I was thinking how bizarre that is because indeed there is a lot of terrorism around the world right but at the same time we have a culture that in America at this point that you know glory we have like let, let me just give an example some famous movies are like blood in blood out you know Scarface Goodfellas Sopranos you get my point is that there's a lot of shows and productions that are perfectly uh, fine with promoting kind of like mafia cartelish vibes and many of those characters within the movies themselves and the gang members themselves wear crosses or um, claim to be Christian and such but we don't really call them Christian terrorists right you would be surprised how many uh, gang members wear a rosary as they commit crimes and we don't really look at that and say like hey those are Christian terrorists they're wearing a cross and they're carjacking right or they are doing something very immoral and some of them even have tattoos of the Jesus prayer hands with a rosary around it on them some of them even have the Virgin of Guadalupe or aka the Virgin Mary tattooed on their body many have the Jesus tattoo and he has the thorns on his head and he's crying right and we never really call those gang members terrorists Christian terrorists right or Catholic terrorists but a Muslim will commit an act and maybe before they die they'll say Allah Akbar or something like that and then they'll be like well the religion's making this person crazy we all need to uh, be afraid therefore we need to fund the military industrial complex even more right and there's a lot of money that the military industrial complex makes off of making the weapons and through the fear porn propaganda but I would say that Americans we need to stop focusing on global terror right and we should focus on fixing our own streets and People are sitting in their homes fearing that, you know, ISIS or Al-Qaeda or Boko Haram or whatever, the Taliban, you name it. They're like, oh, they're going to come and get us and they're going to put Sharia law and they're going to make everybody bow down to Allah. There's a lot of fear porn from certain cult-like Christian communities. But I don't hear these Christian communities saying, you know what we got to do? We got to get these young men to stop uh, wearing religious items as they commit acts against God's rules. I wonder why we don't look at that, you know? And, like, there's a lot of Italians, like, a lot of Italian guys will get some quote from the Bible, or a girl will have some Jesus tattoo, and she'll, you know, let any Tom, Dick, and Harry onto her body. Do you know what I'm saying? It's weird how we're very selective like that, and we don't really look at it. And I think that's one reason why people stereotype Muslims too much is because they like to make their culture seem as perfect and then as soon as another religion does something wrong, they jump on it. It's weird. Because you're more likely to be killed by a Catholic Christian gang member than you are to be killed by a Muslim jihadist in the United States. But we don't, and we like to say, well, we're having, of course we don't like gangs. But actually, if you look at California, it's everywhere. There's gangs everywhere. And they, those OGs get promoted and talked about, and they get put in music videos, and that lifestyle gets promoted, and then those artists get awards. Right? Oh, the MTV Music Awards, which not everyone watches really anymore. But they get promoted and they get to some of them get to meet the president or some of them get to go to the white house you know it's really strange you know i don't really think 
It's fair. I think we need to start turning the tables on to our own culture. It's so easy to point at the desert and be like, everyone who comes from this desert area is bad. But then to ignore the countless hoods and ghettos behind us that are like, hey, uh, there's a lot of problems here in Decay. We need to fix that. And what's even more strange is when I have like friends who will be religious and then they'll talk about the the extremism of Islam but then we won't talk about the extremism of American consumerism and capitalism which is in itself like its own religion what do you think you know how do we kind of help clear up the misconceptions that are placed upon Muslims and spread education and understanding it, it, we, everyone in the world we all have a lot of work to do but I think it's time we start actually pointing out okay how many crimes are committed by people who profess to be Christians how many people go to jail and who are you know profess to be Christians so they'll look at some of these neo-nazis they'll point out well there's a lot of black people in gangs. Oh, there's a lot of black people in jail. There's a lot of illegal immigrants who commit crimes. There's a lot of Muslims who commit terrorists. I mean, who, who turn into terrorists. But these neo-Nazis, these alt-right weirdos, they, it's almost like they're covering up everything that other whites have done. Right? It's weird because French whites won't agree with Texans on many issues, right? You can like Australians, they'll differ greatly than what somebody in Mississippi thinks, right? It's really bizarre. And I'm starting to really want to join that mission in trying to help more and more people leave the gang life. And that's a big battle when it's being promoted and these artists are promoted. It's, it's really toxic. But I think we need to start just pointing out, like, hey... Not all Muslims are terrorists, which should obviously be self-explanatory. But also identify the fear. The fear is safety. And if, and when we allow media corporations to play on our fears, when we allow them to say, oh, well, the, you know, Sharia law is coming, Sharia law is coming, and you have to be like, you know, what also is coming is decay of a culture, as in sexual immorality, endless greed, Pollution. Those are things we should have real fear over. But instead, it's like they focus just on this one group. And it happens to be a group of people who necessarily are not into commodifying every aspect of their culture. It's strange. You're more likely to be hurt by a gang member or a mentally ill drug addict in the United States than you are from a Muslim. And we don't really examine that. But if we started talking about it, if we started having real conversations with people, or making a polite, you know, well-structured uh, social media post, any way you want to do it is my point. But to start saying, okay, so that person who uh, shot some people on the corner, what religion were they? And then start pointing out, like, they were a Christian. Okay, they were this. You know, and see how those people will respond. And then when they respond, say like, well, see, this is why a Muslim ban is absurd. This is why you shouldn't just hate Muslims. Because plenty of Christians are in prison. Being a Christian or any religion doesn't automatically make you the best by default. We have a lot to learn from each other. And if we spent more time collaborating with each other on how to solve our issues we would get a lot more done. But I think these corporations, they kind of want to keep us in fear and away from each other as they pillage different nations' resources. And if we stop being so consumeristic, we can bring the power of those corporations over us down. And if we start really caring about grievances that other countries say. So if there's a country that says, you know what? We don't want our 12 year olds wearing belly shirts and, uh, you know, exposing their bodies that young. 
then you'd have to really the UN and other outlets have to respect that nation's values and take that into consideration. I don't know. It, I'm I'm really notice I notice how certain people have recently like when I wear my Habib sweater and it has the Alhamdulillah on it in Arabic uh, some people give me this look and I've mentioned it before but it's like there's this fear and it's like why are you looking at me as if I'm like gonna do something to you like what's going on but if a gangster has a rosary those people will look at that person's pants or like their hats on a different way or something you know I mean it's really strange how just the shape of the writing triggers people. But when, like for example, if they see an Oakland Raiders jersey, they don't think anything. A lot of the gang members, the 18th Street gang members, will wear the Oakland Raiders number 18 jersey as their gang colors. And then certain Sereno Trece, Sur Trece gang members will wear the Dallas Cowboys jerseys blue and gray because that's their gang colors. And you don't see people freaking out every time they see those jerseys, right? I don't know. So, like, it's strange to me how simple Arabic writing can instill so much fear in people. And I think we all have to help bring tolerance and acceptability into each other. And I think Americans have to start really being honest with themselves and saying that American exceptionalism, where we think our, our nation is right by default, is not correct. And we shouldn't assume we have the only way and the best way to conduct a civilization. Because if that was true, we wouldn't have such high suicide rates among teen boys. We wouldn't have as many abortion rates. We wouldn't have as many people addicted to opioids. Right, we wouldn't have so many mentally ill people in the streets who have no help. So we really have to ask ourselves, just because Miley Cyrus, Britney Spears, and Paris Hilton, and you know, Nicki Minaj, and Beyonce, just because the, and Katie, like, you know, like uh, Lady Gaga, just because we have certain celebrities that get to show off all their jewels and promote uh, random sex and just hook up culture and vanity and all these ills, we can't assume that just because our artists are famous around the world that therefore means and they came from our country that that means makes we're, that that means like we're better. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I don't know if that's coming out right. I've just been noticing a lot of things lately and it it's it's really sad I don't know I'm just running some of my own thoughts by all of you because you know self-reflection and meditation is important to truly understand your own thought process and I just been thinking about a lot of the stereotypes that are put onto Muslims and how since I've been reading the Quran a lot it's like it makes me feel bad when I hear people say those things about Muslims because now there's a connection there to a bigger community you know what I mean like there's a connection that I feel you know reading the Quran to the Muslim community now and I f and I feel more of a connection to them than I and I do my Christian ones and I, it's this is such some, something that I'm curious to see like why is this developing and there's a lot going on and like life's a journey right and I just wonder you know what's the path that I'm on and what's the future going to be like and how can I help to not only help other Muslims right with their academic pursuits or but not even just Muslims just people in general like we all learn from each other in different ways and I love learning and I think how can I you know contribute to literature and to thought and philosophy and political science and sociology and psychology and theology and poetry like all these different disciplines right and 
Islam is a is a very important role now has is playing a very important role now in my life. So I feel invested and I feel a uh, urge to clarify certain things that I'm learning and this doesn't mean that I don't then you know how do I put it like not being I don't know perfect we all, we all have to try to be the best we can be but it just means that I know there's going to be a lot of work to do that I have to do to work on myself but I don't know I'm just trying to figure out the best way I can help you know what I'm saying family I don't know some of you will get what I mean like today in my class we was talking about uh they were talking about ISIS and how globalization and westernization and America's Americanization commodification of you know market economies and domestic economies and agriculture and like how this all leads to like a global financial system that has ripple effects and fallout and benefits and consequences and pros and cons and it's interesting how there's a lot of bashing on the Muslim world but there's there is in the American world but on the banking industry but not very much on the culture so they like to bash Muslims for their culture I notice not they're not trying to be evil they're just they like how I was a little bit before where you don't know and then you make judgments and then you you don't really learn right so it's weird I just well, my point is is that I just think it's weird how we criticize Muslims for their culture, but we don't look at our own. And the fact that you have people who want pedophiles to come out openly and be able to go to therapy and to have just pedophilia not be that big of a deal, right? It's not It's not as scary as it once was. And we don't realize that, of course, there's going to be cultures who don't want that around them. Of course there's going to be cultures who don't want their sons being gang members. Of course there's going to be cultures that don't want their kids doing porn. Of course there's going to be cultures where they don't think a woman having sex with 900 men is honorable, virtuous, and good for society. We are not looking at our own culture with the same lens that we put on the Muslims, and I think that has to stop. And the best way to stop that is to start telling the gang cultures stop wearing Christian jewelry when you commit acts of, of, of violence and crime and to tell women if you're gonna live a, a life that's antithetical to the Bible you should not have religious tattoos I don't think that if you're gonna be pardon my French but if you're gonna be a putita you're gonna be opening your doors for everyone in the world don't get a a Bible Psalms tattoo. Don't don't mix that. Do you know what I'm saying? I just noticed there's a lot of hypocrisy that we do. We do a lot of hypocrisy here. And it's almost like Christianity in America is kind of dead. It's really kind of dead. Disney has made Christianity dead. You know, I'm a Disney generation. Like McDonald's, Disney... Like these these institutions we grow up with and participating in contribute to the own moral decay of our of our country and we don't look at it but we're so quick to point out that what what Muslims do wrong and I just don't think it's fair. I think if we spent more time checking on our own cultures instead of putting the magnifying glass on every other culture, we could get a lot more done. But then again, that goes down to how, what Karl Marx might say is the bread and circuses. So the distraction and entertainment uh, keep people in their place and don't let them, it doesn't really have them focus on what's, are the, like, like society's important issues, right? I don't know, family, what do you think? Having a very metaphysical type of thought today.